today we're going to be looking at MIDI recording problems within FL Studio. It's very annoying when you're trying to play something in, figure out a part, whatever it is, and the MIDI's just not working for whatever reason. But in this video, we're going to show you how to fix that. So right now I have FL Studio loaded up with an instance of Sakura on and I'm pressing my MIDI keyboard. Nothing's happening. So first thing we're going to try is go to options. MIDI settings, you can also press F10 for this. And then if we look here at the input section of the MIDI, you can see that the enable button isn't selected. So that means it's not able to receive MIDI information from the MIDI controller that I'm using. In this case, it's the MPK Mini by Akai. So if I just click on this enable button, then you can see that there's a power button appeared on the row with my MPK Mini. And I can now press one of the MIDI keys and it will work. And as long as your MIDI controller is enabled in both the output and input, in this case, I only need to worry about input because my MIDI device doesn't have a input for receiving MIDI. It's literally just a USB MIDI controller. But if you had a synth where you wanted to send MIDI data out to the synth, then the output would need to be enabled as well. And now my MIDI controller is correctly set up so that FL Studio can receive MIDI data from it. Now let's move on to the issue of MIDI notes not being recorded properly into FL Studio. So if you're having issues with MIDI being recorded inside of FL Studio, then you're going to want to go to the audio settings tab, which is options audio settings. And once you're in the audio settings, the bit that we're interested in is the playback tracking. And here, as you can see, I have mixer selected. Now, instead of mixer, we're going to choose driver, and then we're going to slide the offset all the way down to minus 200%. Now this should sort out any delayed MIDI notes that you may be experiencing. If you're still having issues with recording in MIDI, you want to check that you've not accidentally left quantize on and that's what's causing some timing issues. To do this, go to the top bar and locate the magnet symbol and next to it there's a drop down. And as you can see, right now mine is selected on a sixth beat, so my MIDI notes are going to be quantized in sixth beats. In order to get rid of that, you just need to click on none and then there will be no quantizing for your MIDI parts. If you wanted it to be a different time, then you can always select a quarter beat, half beat, beat, bar, whatever works for you. Um, if you're unsure, then click none and then you can always go back in later and line things up how you want them. And with these three tips under your belt, you'll be able to fix your MIDI problem and get on with the fun part, which is actually producing. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel and clicking that notifications bell so you never miss any of our videos again. For more in-depth tutorials, please check out our website homemusicmaker.com where there's a bunch of tips, tricks and techniques that will help you in your music production journey. We also have a forum, which is forum.homemusicmaker.com and both of these links will be in the description below. If you have anything that you want to see on this channel, then please leave it in the comments section below and we will get right on that. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.